Ukrainian forces battled Russian invaders on three sides Thursday after Moscow launched the biggest attack on a European state since World War II, prompting tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. The Russian invasion came by land, sea and air in a massive show of force. U.S. officials warned Russian forces were making advances on Ukraine's capital of Kiev, and the Ukrainian prime minister said Russia had captured the former nuclear power plant at Chernobyl. Heavy fire was exchanged in the northeast and in the seaside city of Odessa in the south. The assault brought a calamitous end to weeks of fruitless diplomatic efforts by the West, with Russian President Vladimir Putin declaring war in a pre-dawn televised address. He said he had ordered a special military operation to protect people, including Russian citizens, subjected to, quote, genocide in Ukraine, an accusation the West calls baseless propaganda. U.S. President Joe Biden blasted Russia's aggression from the White House, calling it a war without cause. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Thursday began with missiles raining down on targets across Ukraine and reports of troops pouring across the borders from Russia and Belarus. President Volodymyr Zelensky called on Ukrainians to defend their country and said arms would be given to anyone prepared to fight. What we have heard today are not just missile blasts, fighting and the rumble of aircraft. This is the sound of a new Iron Curtain which has come down and is closing Russia off from the civilized world. The U.N. Refugee Agency said an estimated 100,000 Ukrainians had fled their homes. Some took shelter in train stations. Others tried to get out. The highway heading west out of Kiev was choked with traffic across five lanes as residents fled, fearful of bombings while stuck in their car. Biden has ruled out sending U.S. troops to defend Ukraine, but Washington has reinforced its NATO allies in the region with extra troops and planes as countries across the West impose tough sanctions. Putin's endgame remains unclear. He said he did not plan a military occupation only to disarm Ukraine and purge it of nationalists.